I'm a native Washingtonian. I'm from Southeast DC. I model, I dance, I act. I am an archeologist. I am a unique interesting person. There's a lot of stereotypes about D.C. that are thrown around. You know, that's just a place where our government is. To where politics reign supreme. But it's actually community and home to a lot of people. It's much more um, diverse neighborhoods and historic neighborhoods that people don't really know about. So we have to give the narrative the experiences. And through oral histories, I really want to highlight these contributions that people don't typically know or aren't necessarily written about in historical records. It's so easy to just feel like your group is not important if all you learn about is what this person did, what Christopher Columbus did. There's a lot of resilience that goes into being able to survive those circumstances and still come out on the other side and say, we can be better. So just to sit down and talk to someone and give them the opportunity to just to, to tell their life narrative is a very special thing. It's almost like your imagination is ignited. Just every time you think you know what someone's gonna say, they are gonna say something different, and that's fabulous. Your story is important. Your history is important. It's kind of like giving a gift um, to the next generation. And when you share it, and you'd be so surprised and so shocked at how many people be like, oh my God, I went through that too. When our children and grandchildren look to us for inspiration. They're gonna learn from us and whatever it is that we tried to do. So it's important to have these stories and to share these stories and to shout these stories and to sing these stories to inspire others not only to step up to the plate and feel good about themselves, but to share their stories as well.